Kia ora koutou, ko di aho, haramai, welcome to today's Makerspace. I'm going to send you off for a quick frame teaser and then we will be back for our main activity. Are the two orange circles the same size? They actually are, even though the one on the left seems smaller. This size distortion may be caused by the size of the surrounding circles or their distance to the centre. Stare at the yellow stripe in the middle of the fish in the picture for about 10 to 20 seconds. Then move your gaze to the fish bowl. Did you see a fish of a different colour in the bowl? You've just experienced an after image. Can you see a baby? This is a great example of an illusory contour. The baby's head is on the left, its feet are against the trunk of the tree on the right. Well, welcome back. Today's activity is making a flapping bird. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that this is gonna work out, but it is something that we may revisit in class when we can return to in-house classes in the library. So I hope you're going to enjoy that today. We do need quite a few materials, so let's have a look at what you're going to need and take a closer look. Let's take a look at what you're going to need today. We need a little bit of hot glue, so you might need an adult to help you with that. We need some corrugated cardboard or foam if you have it. Little piece of tissue paper, don't really need a lot and if you don't have it, it doesn't matter. We need a couple of these bendy straws. We need some skewers, a cork, tape. Um, it helps if you have a little hole punch, a single hole punch. Uh, we need some scissors, a small piece of pipe cleaner, and some paper clips. You're also going to need a box. Now, I'm just gonna show you on screen the type of box that you could use if you have one. If you don't have a box like that, like me, you might need to make a box. So just make a box out of something that you have um, and you'll just need to make sure that it has, or if you can make, a lid that goes on it. Okay? Alright, well let's make a start. The first thing we've got to do is we're going to cut some small circles out of the corrugated cardboard. Now I've done these in advance and so I've cut the six circles out and I've um, the size I've used is the top of a milk container. So just trace around on the cardboard and cut them out to create those three circles. Now the next thing we need to do is mark a dot on the top of just a stack of three. We'll leave the other stack aside. And we need to make a mark which is between the center and the edge. Okay, so between the center, so here is our center, and towards the edge. So we're just gonna make a mark there and we need to put some holes through that. So you might need an adult to help. I'm using a push pin here. So I'll just take that off the first one and then I'll feed it through there. Now, if that isn't large enough for our skewer to go through, we can make that a little bit larger with, say, a cooking skewer. But we will see how we go with that. So just make it hole there. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is we need to glue these three circles together and those holes need to be lined up. So we'll just do that again. Make sure that's the case and we'll just make sure we can fit that skewer through there. As I say, you might need an adult to help that so it doesn't go through to your fingers. So there we go, that's going to go. So let's just um, get our hot glue gun working. And we're going to glue those together. Uh, 
Let's make sure we can get our skewer through there. There we go. Now we need to put some holes in our box. So because of the length of our skewer, um, we're not going to orientate it that way. We're going to orientate it that way. So just with a push pin to make some holes, make one on one side, and then on the other, then what we need to do is hold our discs in place, feed, it, feed the skewer through the hole, through the discs, and through to the other side. So you can see that it will work like that. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue two more of our discs together. Try not to glue the middle because we're going to put a hole in that. Down. Now this time our hole is going to go through the center. So we're going to put, I'll just give it a bit of a head start with our push pen. Again, get an adult to help you with that. We're going to put the blunt end through there. Let's make it, I need to make it just a little bit bigger. Okay, see that slightly poking out there at the bottom? So what we're going to do with our third disc is glue that onto the bottom. And that will hold the skewer in place. Now I need to make this hole slightly larger. Because we, what we need to do now is we need a three centimetre length of drinking straw. So we'll try. We might use the other one. It's about three centimetres. And we're going to fit that in that hole. Now, we need to make that so it stays. So we're just going to use some tape to hold that in place. Now's a test. We just need to see if our mechanism works. So just before we do anything else, put your lid on top of the bottom of the box. And just turn it around. And we'll make sure that the skewer goes up and down. Now we need to make our bird. Now some of these pieces I cut out earlier. So what you'll need to do is just take a scrap piece of card and cut out some wings. Okay, so these are the wings that I made earlier. Um, and I've put um, some holes in here with the um, lovely little single hole punch that I've got here. Now we need to take our cork and what we also need to do, and please ask an adult to help, is take two paper clips and cut them in half with some wire cutters so that you've got four loops that look like this. Okay, now what we're going to do is loop these through the holes in the wings and push these into the cork. Now you may need a small hammer just to tap those down. Comes 
a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Also, I need to make a little bit of a better hole through there so that a little more easily. Basically you want them to want to hold them in place and you want them to still be able to move a little bit. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to make another hole just in the top here. Let's see if we can make this as big as we can. Because now we're going to take a four centimeter length of pipe cleaner and we're going to pop it into the hole there so I might just make that a little bit bigger okay, this is going to be for the neck of our bird stick that down here slightly there now with a triangular piece of cardboard fold it in half and that is going to be our beak we're going to put some glue on that And glue that onto the pipe cleaner. Now, with our tissue paper, so we don't need don't need very much. Now we get the glue out again. Just going to put some little feathers on the back and some on the head. You might need an adult to help. You can place those in the way that you want to. That might put that on the tail. That one. And that one. We're going to place a bird on top of our skewer, so we need to put a hole underneath the bottom. So you can just do that with your push pin. Okay, so there is our bird. Let's see that again. Now what we need to do, we're going to I might just make it a little bit easier and take that off for now. Okay. And so you can see a little bit better. So now we need to take our two sections of our bendy straws, or our two bendy straws. Okay. And we need to cut the ends off that. So we're going to bend them like so. We'll make them the same length at this end as well. Just going to snip those off there. And what we're going to do is we need to tape 
I'm just going to need to trim that a little bit. Here we go. No, actually, we won't. We're going to take the underside of the wing to the straw. Now, our next job is to have next two skewers. So what we need to do is we need to pop these in the lid as well. So we can just do that. Hopefully, this might be a little bit tricky, but we need to feed that onto there and feed that through the box. Another hole there, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut that off a little bit. So again, get a parent help because we want them actually level with the wings. So I'm actually just going to make them a wee bit smaller. Right now, we're going to place. Let's see how we go here. All right, so this is the moment of truth. Place our bird on top. We centered over our well, and let's see if it will go up and down. It's definitely moving. It's a funny little bird bobbing up and down, isn't it? And in actual fact, probably what we needed to do is I needed to put those there. So, yes, I would say I did, didn't I? So, we will try that. I'm going to take those out and we're going to place them instead that side and that side. I should have realised that before, shouldn't I? So pop those in there. There we go. Right. Now let's see our bird. There we go. It's our bird popping up and down. adjustment as to where we can make that work a bit better. Well, thanks for joining me today. How did your flapping bird go? Did you have to make any adjustments? Even if you didn't get it to work, as I said, it might be something that we can definitely revisit in class. Thanks for joining me. Ka kite